I just kept on dying and dying. I really had no idea what to do. So let's go over what to expect when venging in VH. Expect to die. A lot. Like, more than when you were learning to NH. But that's okay, because we won't be risking anything. The most annoying part is going to be gearing after death, so let's just get the inventory setup plugin from Runelight. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up your inventory to something similar as such. Here towards the top we have our tripolites, consisting of a blighted anglerfish, ceridomen brew, and corombolans. These could also be used as various doubleites as you need. Also, feel free to add two more cooked corombolans instead of anglerfish if you feel you need more doubleites. Blighted items do in fact work inside the BH crater, so go ahead and use those, like such. I have my Armado God Sword as well as my Super Combat Potion located at the bottom so I can swiftly and easily go for a special attack. And it's all located near Piety and just everything. It's pretty good. Now let's take a brief look at the equipment page. Here we got a Nata's Knot Helm, Fire Cape if you have it, and a weird thing, we're gonna go with a Strength Amulet instead of Amulet of Glory. Any sort of blessing. I'm personally starting off with a Dragon Scimitar. And if you have access, this should be a fighter's torso, but I see BA going to um, pest control, or see, I, I don't even know, whatever it is. Here for, this should be a dragon defender at the very least. Again, not necessary, but it's, it's going to help you out a lot. Rune legs, you can put these as torags if you want to be more tanky, but I like being less tanky, so they hit on my venge. Barrow's gloves, again, if you have access. If not, you know, I, I suppose rune gloves will do it. Dragon boots. And then a ring of recoil. Here you also might want to exchange one of the blighted anglerfish for an extra ring of recoil because oftentimes it will break during the fight. Some hard requirements that I assume you already have are vengeance, the spell book, as well as access to god swords such as AGS's as well as the, the void wanker. Though when you first go in, I really do only suggest you bring in an AGS. Don't bring anything bigger like a void wanker or or, or claws because you are very very likely to get smited if you get smited for a 10 mil ags you know it hurts but it's not the end of the world so people might tell you you're gonna need 99 strength and whatnot but i frankly disagree you can go out there at really any point sure it's gonna help you get your kills but you're still having fun and learning to pk as you naturally progress your account now that you're ready to get in there a couple things you're gonna want to do First, you're going to want to stay pre-anglered and try to have 120 HP just at all points. Another thing you're going to want to do is put protect item on, because you never know when you're going to get rushed. Even if it's not your opponent, you can still die in like 2 seconds. Now that we have found our opponent, you want to ensure that you're near an exit just in case you need to run. And from here, we're going to try to predict as well as bait our opponent's special attack in order to kill them. If you knew the, the, the KD ratio, I have a 0.3 KD ratio, and I should have died right there. This guy's getting me a little distracted here. Keep in mind, not every opponent is going to be suitable for you. As a new player, you don't always want to fight Torvez or even DH people. Shit, let alone Voiders, those guys are very deadly as well. So feel free to skip your opponent if they really just don't look like something you can attack. He needs to do more damage to me. At this point in the fight, I'm waiting for my opponent to do enough damage so that they will special attack me. And since I am 66 HP, I can expect that they will special attack, which is why I preemptively hover over Vengeance and cast it at the perfect moment. I then go for a special attack of my own with a Void Wanker to try and stack him out with my Vengeance that he should be hitting on, which he does and dies for. Now here's the funny part. Our opponent did literally the exact same thing we did. Beta HP vengeance then spec and we just traded playing into each other's traps precisely oh we win <laughs> we traded <laughs> do i have to get my loot from in there are you joking me i don't even know where i died in there i couldn't tell you where i died go back where this just serves as another reason why you should be pking near the bh exits not only for escaping but in case you get the off chance of a double death said snow this guy seems like he's gonna kill me Mm-hmm. Uh. What do I eat on MSBs? Eating as a noob is tricky. People will say you're safing, and I just say ignore them. I reckon even turning off your public, too. Always eat at 79 HP and below. Eating at 80 HP, it's not too bad, though. You might hear some Holy bitching. Holy fucking shit. Again, don't listen to anyone, because they can max stack you out with just some good RNG, and 
Who cares? They can just skip you. All right, nah, I'm done with this. This, this game though is way too fucking hard. What is this bullshit? I hate this game. What is this? What the fuck? I barely got out of there with my life. I had to do four consecutive triple eats to try to survive. Four consecutive triple eats. That was crazy. From here, you're just going to want to do DPS while making sure not to die until you get your vengeance spell again, which I think is like a 30 second mm. timer if I'm correct. But uh, yeah, and just rinse and repeat like we did earlier. He really doesn't safe at all. I like that about him. Completely honest, I'm eating at way lower HP than I should. Got him! Whoa, we traded! Whoa, what the fuck was that? What do we got here? Ow. Here I'm eating at 60 to 70 HP, which is very risky for a noob, but at least I won't hear any complaints. I don't know. Ah. Uh, he probably could have killed me though. Hmm. I don't know. That to me, he doesn't risk shit. I'm not doing this to for risk. I'm literally just trying to learn for bounty hunter tomorrow. Just so I'm like a fucking a stone's throw competent. Or I, I, that made no sense, but yeah, you know what I meant. Here I'm baiting low HP in order to counter my opponent's special attack with a vengeance. GG. With the double lead as well? Clipping that one. I don't want to risk too bad. Hmm. Here I can try to eat or I can try to vengeance his attack. I probably... Hmm. Here, I'm trying too hard to go for the bait and staying just way too low HP, so I will soon pay for it. Ah, oh, GG. Fuck. Overall, in my opinion, learning to NH is easier and much more straightforward in knowing where you went wrong. For example, you'll see if you're not changing your gear fast enough, and thus you should go from a three-way switch to a simple two-way switch. Why did I get KO'd by a special attack? It's probably because you're not eating enough and you need to focus more on freezing your target so they can't spec you. When it comes to vengeance, you just die and you're sort of left speechless sometimes. Did I eat too low? People are telling me I'm safing all the time. Did I predict wrong? Whatever the fuck that means. Just know when they're gonna vengeance and special attack you. Which I uh, assume comes with time, but definitely not as identifiable as when you're NH- No. He smited me, everybody. I don't like this game.